hello guys can you check this application out we have random bg color popping up when anytime i click the button so that is that guys without wasting my time let's begin thank you very much let's begin by creating two folders now as also folder create the call the first one assets and call the second one components Now let's take the first one assets. In this project, we have no images or spinning, so we'll leave it blank. We move to the next one components. Component, let's create a file and call it main page.js. So inside I will say refce. Instead of ordinary div, why don't we use we have to fragment? So inside that we have a section and a div with a p tag to say hello. Now let's link this main page to the app.js to view on the screen. So we go to app.js, then call the main page here. Okay, now let's import the main page. Good. Now let's check our screen if we got hello on the screen. You can see guys, we got hello on the screen, means we're ready to go. So on this is mobile first, let's take position. Good. So now we are ready. So what do we do next? Let's take the P tag off and create a button. Okay, so inside the button, what do we write? We say random color. Random color. Good. Now let's give this button some class names. Okay, so we say px20 py10 text y text 3x or bg blue 500 capitalized font board and rounded lg so that is that we have our button ready now let's bring the button to the center of the page so what we're going to do is we go to i prefer to use the custom css where we can call center class and say dot center then inside that we can say display flex justify content center and align item center so let's call the center class in our project so we go back here and say inside this div we can give it a class name class name here get okay, then we say uh, height let's give it screen then we can call the same class. Can I see guys, we got the button on the center of the page. So that is that right, our button is ready. What do we do next? Yeah, let me expand this. Now what we're gonna do is to create the states for the color. Then we can use an on click to change that color, okay? So first let's call use state. So we say, new state over here then we come down here then call state okay so we create the state we call it for the color we say const change color come on set change color equals new states new state let's give it a initial state initial state let's give the color 451252 so that is that guys what do we do now now let's create an on click to handle the state okay so we say so we go back to the button and then call our on click here so we see on click equals what handle click now let's create a function for handle click so i can just copy the handle click and then we come here then we say function to handle click just for function to change color function to change what color yeah. so we say const const to what handle click equals to a function okay now inside that we can we can now say let me bring it here const random colors equals what let's bring the hash that'll be a concatenator after the we get our numbers and we concatenate the hash to it. So we say plus word map dot random dot to string system dot slice two comma 
8. So that will take the, uh, the, the numbers in that interval. So we can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So between 2 and 4, 2 and 8, we have what? 6. So 6, the hash will be added to it. So that, that will give us our color. So that is that. So what do we do? We, we now say set change color. Set change color into bracket or random colors. So that is that. We can preview it and see by using console.log. So we say console.log quote color and then change color. So let's check it and see if we got our color. Let's click it and see. Okay. You can see, guys, we got our color. Click it again, you can see we got another color. Click it and see, you can see we got another color. You can see, guys. So that color is working. So now we're going to do is what? Uh, bring this color to the style component. Okay. So let's close this. Then, so then let's call the style here. We say STYLD equals. Equals what? Get yeah, equals what? Let's call the background color. Background. Background color. Background color. Yeah. Now we we want to make it dynamic, so we call we call the uh, the back tick, which is the dynamic code, down the escape button. So, so that is that. So inside that we have our dollar, then bracket. So inside the here we can call our uh, uh, what do we mean? change color change color good so that is that let's check it out so we run it okay you can see it's working so now I can take my the first blue I did with a button I can take it off don't need it anymore. So that is that. So let's check it out. When I click, see the background changes. So cool, guys. Wow. So that is that. Now finally, let's check our responsiveness. It is responsive too. Please don't forget to do good. Catch in the next one. We say peace. So